Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Psychotic Gaming. This is Tips for YouTube YouTube Success and this is episode number 5 and this is also some gameplay on raid domination DSR. This is my clip getting set up. I want to try to get some clips lately. I want to start making montages again. Uh, I have a better knowledge of it and I want to make like smaller episodes, not top high dollar. I want to do episodes kind of like for my perfectionist with about two three four minute videos montages they're not gonna be as high top dollar quality and effect visual wise visual wise as homages because I do not have the time the knowledge the software to be able to do that or the money to hire editors especially if I'm doing a bunch of episodes but anyways on to the topic of today's episode for tips for YouTube success and as the title says yeah, stated sorry about that I'm getting really really trying to talk faster uh, this is my third take of this damn commentary first take I went over 15 at, into 15 and a half minutes and I I can't upload longer than 15 minute videos yet and uh, the second time for whatever reason my uh, voice recording software just decided to stop and take a poop on me that was a very nice but uh, yeah, sorry, I'm going to be getting tongue twisted. I am partially dyslexic when I try to talk fast and I get all excited. Uh, I can sometimes talk really, really fast if I know exactly what the hell I'm going to say. Uh, like, I could sing some songs fast that are fast. Like, uh, I'm in a tech nine. I can do some of his stuff fast. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. This is uh, methods and settings for recording your voice for commentaries. The reason why this is so important is because in the YouTube law, or not necessarily law, but the copyright laws, it states, and this is basically summing it up, you cannot upload gameplay content or game clips from any game unless it's said otherwise, which I just wouldn't do it just to be on the safe side, because if you get a copyright strike, it takes six months to get off your damn uh, channel, and it also uh, cuts back from some features. Uh, get off that B flag, dude. You ain't taking my B flag. But, uh... So you, if you're not editing it into a montage of any type, dual taj, montage, tri taj, weak taj, team taj, subscribe taj, whatever you want to call it, if you're not doing any type of editing like that, then you have to have some sort of voiceover onto it, whether, whether it be a commentary, a tutorial, a walkthrough, a review, a day in the life, just you talking to yourself or your subscribers, you have to have that. This is why this is so important. And uh, me, when I started off, using a crappy mic, uh, using a crappy means a method for recording, uh, using my ArcSoft sh uh, Showbiz program, I would record the gameplay. Then as the gameplay was rolling, I would go ahead and record it in the other program that I have, Track XPC. And there's kind of a bit of a lag in it. The uh, uh, animation moves a little bit slower if your computer isn't like a two, three thousand dollar computer with ArcSoft. The playback is not meant to play that fast. It's just meant for you to kind of see what's going on to where you know where to cut clips, add clips, add effects, transistors, and everything like that. So my commentary would be a little bit off. Uh, I started out with a horrible, horrible freaking mic. I was just jumping into it. I wanted to get whatever mic I could as cheap as I could. That is probably the biggest mistake you can use because if anybody's ever seen any of my old uh, commentaries, it rattles, it cuts in and out, and it sounds like straight up garbage. Muff cabbage. Um, like the, it connected via USB cable, anything that any type of tap on the damn cable rattled loud as hell. And uh, another thing that I changed, I'm sitting in a new chair, I'm sitting on a stool now, that creaking and squeaking in my, all my videos when I talk was me moving around and leaning forward, leaning back in my little cheap ass Walmart foldable metal chair that I use as a computer chair and a game chair. I like to sit forward hunched over when I play. kind of puts me on the edge. kind of makes me feel like I have a better sense of reaction time. But anyways, this is I'm going to go over kind of like the main things you need as far as commentary to do it. Uh, number one, capture device. Number two, content to capture. Number three, uh, I'm going to go with what am I going to go with for number three? A recording device. That's what I was going to say. And number four, software. And number five, to tie it, tie it all up. The knowledge that I'm giving you to make it all happen and put it together. All right, number one, capture device. I would definitely recommend the Hophog HDPVR or Elgato. There's a lot more support with those. And uh, they're really on the better, higher end of things. Uh, better HD quality, better user-friendly and everything. Don't use the Dazzle. 
uh, the Avery Media, I'm not too familiar with, but I know like certain people like White Boy 7th Street endorses it and other people endorse it, so it has to be good. Another one that I'm kind of not familiar with, but I heard things going around about it, the Black Magic, something like that. But just to be safe to where there's more videos, more help, more knowledge, more support, go with the Hot Pocket HD PVR or the Elgato gaming capture device. Uh, step number two, content to capture. Uh, you know, anything. That is all up to you. That is up to what you think that your audience will enjoy and you will enjoy doing at the same time. Uh, that's an easy one. Uh, number three, uh, capture device. Um, you can use microphones. You can use turtle beaches. You can use the um, old school Xbox 360 chat headset, that piece of crap. And you can use your phone. All right, first one. Microphone, I would definitely highly recommend the Blue Snowball, or if you're really ready to drop that high dollar right away just to get your foot in the door, get that out of the way, I would recommend the Blue Yeti. It's a better than the Snowball. It's more crisp, more clear, a better clearing, sounding, soothing voice for all of you to listen to. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just know it's better quality. It's better capturing. It has a lot better noise canceling. It cuts out a lot of other bull crap you don't want in your video. Uh, do not use cheap mics. They're garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All my older videos that used it sounded like garbage. Yep. Uh, what was that? What was that number three? Number four! Software! I am currently using the ArcSoft Showbiz that comes with the Hop Hog HD PVR. You can use the one that comes with the Elgato. And then I also have a second program. I would recommend trying out Audacity. I have not tried that out yet, but it is free. My wife used it for podcasts, and it, um, Records voice, pretty good too, and that's uh, pretty easy to use, so I would recommend that. I haven't used it yet, I'm gonna try to get into it, uh, let you guys know what I think. Uh, nut shot. Uh, but the Track X PC, I used it uh, at first for like editing for montages and commentaries. It had some weird effect with my clips, it would make them all glitchy, laggy, and horrible horizontal lines. If anybody wondering why I had such crappy content in the beginning, that's why. It wasn't because I switched capture devices or anything, it was because of that software for some reason. Now I solely use it to record my voice. Okay. Uh, probably the easiest is with a blue snowball or yeti to start off with with a hot pocket HD PVR at Elgato they have a lot better support bigger support sorry if I'm repeating myself this is my third take today of this video I already said that too sorry um, and then uh, I would recommend like dropping the money on Sony Vegas because you could do everything all in one and it's a lot better you know color correction all that good stuff and then uh, that was the software that was number four. Okay. And I'm giving you number five, which is all the knowledge. For people who want to record with Turtle Beaches with the ArcSoft Showbiz program, here's my helpful hint to you, and this is how to do it. This is at least how I do it. Okay. Now, let's say you're not going to do live. All right. Let's just pretend you're doing Call of Duty, and you're not doing it live for right now. I might touch into live if I have time. All right. You're in your game, and you get a really, really good match. Like, kick-ass match. You can bookmark it, go to it later, or if you don't mind backing out of the lobby, you're not playing with friends, or it's a horrible lobby anyways, like usual Call of Duty lobbies are. Uh, God forbid we ever get in a good lobby altogether. But uh, back out of that, go to your theater mode, select that film, hit start, and then pause it as soon as it opens. Hit that left stick to get rid of that ugly HUD bar at the bottom that has the pause and the time and your kills with the red and green lines and all that. People don't want to see that. Pause it as soon as it starts, as soon as you can. Just keep tapping it because there will be a weird lag where you can't yet. Keep tapping it until you notice it's like pausing and unpausing and then tap it to make it pause. Hit the left on the D-pad to start at the very, very beginning as far back as it'll go. I go over to my computer. I open up my TrackX PC program. I open up the audio recording part. I set it up to record, saving the file and the file format. I open up ArcSoft Showbiz over that. Open up the capture module. And with the ArcSoft Showbiz, as you all know, there is a little bit of a lag as soon as you hit the capture button, and it's about three or four second lag. So what I suggest, put your finger on that A button on your controller, or the X button if you're on PlayStation, and then uh, click the capture button, and then I hover my mouse over the record button on the TrackX PC software that's maximized under the smaller ArcSoft Showbiz window. As soon as I see that timer start to count at one, I smack that record button, like, you kind of want to make sure you do that first, that way your audio lines up, and then I hit the pause button. I try to do it at the same time, but sometimes it doesn't work, but I, all in all, I make sure I hit that record, the audio record button first. And then I record it. 
then once I get done recording, I hit stop on the ArcSoft, stop on my recording voice, go into ArcSoft, open up that video, lay it in your timeline. I think that's the one that's better. Uh, lay it in the timeline, and then you go into importing for audio, go to the audio, import your file that you saved for your recording, lay that under the gameplay file. And another thing I would suggest is lowering the volume. It's at that, uh, that midline threshold. Lowering the volume halfway in between the very bottom where it's silent and that middle threshold. That's, for me, is a perfect level of gameplay volume in the back. I've been adding music to my videos lately. Uh, I've been kind of messing around like that. Kind of, I think it gives a kind of cool theatrical kind of feel to it. Um, but yeah, that's how I record with my Turtle Beaches. Uh, there are some easier ways. I may go into that later. I may do like YouTube Tips for Success sub episodes to kind of go back and touch on topics that I touched on earlier, but I didn't have enough time to go into full detail on some certain things. Um, I, I don't really want to drag this out too much longer, but basically all the things to remember, you're going to drop money into this hobby. That's how all hobby, hobbies are. There are no hobbies that are absolutely free the entire time, unless you like looking at the sky. But, um, so, you know, know you're going to spend some money. HD PVR is about 150 bucks, 200. Uh, if you're going for the blue snowball, I mean, it, blue snowball, in my opinion, to so all the videos that I've seen, work awesome. So, if you don't really want to drop that extra 50 bucks on the Yeti right now, go ahead and go for the blue snowball. I highly recommend it. Hop on page HD PVR, 150 to 200. Blue snowball b drop you about 100 dollars. Um, Software, you can use the ArcSoft Showbiz and find free ones, like I said, Audacity for your voice. Or if you are willing to drop the money for, like, even Sony, I think it's called, like, Creative Movie Studio. Uh, number 11 or 12, which is, like, not the newest one, but the one before that you can use. It's about 60 bucks. Uh, I've been told that it works great and it does everything you need to do. It's just kind of a step under Sony Vegas. It doesn't have all the effects and color correction and all that. But, sorry about that, uh, but I would go ahead and recommend that, and, uh, you know, you have, if you're going to do gameplays without any editing at all, like I said before, you have to do a commentary over it, guys, please listen to me on that point, because you can get smacked with a copyright infringement, because it is the law, you are not doing anything to make it your own, I know it's a stupid law, it's kind of stupid to me, all these copyright laws are stupid to me, but, you know, you just can't do it. But uh, anyways, if you guys are still here, I'm sure my clip of my after action report is done gone. But uh, this is Psychotic Gaming. Thanking you guys, everybody, for giving me an audience to talk to. I don't have too many people to talk to in real life. I uh, don't really have any friends. You guys are my friends. I love you all. But if anybody's still watching this, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope this helped anybody. Any questions, I could do another video, a follow-up video, going into more detail on anything you want. Uh, just go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. I could, if you want me to just inbox you, that's fine. If you want me to make a video, that's fine. If anybody wants me to do a video of um, my setup, like recording it, I can do it. I don't know how great the quality is going to be because I'll probably use my wife's digital camera. But I could still do it. I could still make that happen. i uh, let you guys know maybe people are more visual than, uh, what do you call it, audio learning wise. I could actually show you how I do it. And some other options maybe if I could think of anything. But uh, leave your feed feedback, your comments, everything below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Psychotic Gaming thank, saying thank the hell out of all y'all. And I hope you guys have a crazy-ass psycho rest of the week and the weekend. Again, for me, it's not the weekend. Got to work this weekend. But uh, I'll see you guys. Catch you around.